Mark Epson, all in white, the reigning champion, attempting to win the title for the third year running. In this final round now, against an old rival of his, the Welsh champion, Robbie Regan, from the Fleur de Lis Club. These two met in the Commonwealth Games last summer, in the preliminary bouts, and uh, Epton won on points. And it's, fa it's shaping up that way again, I think. Epton actually had uh, Regan on the floor in the first few seconds of this with a left hook, and then went totally wild in the first round, trying to finish it. Didn't succeed, and has steadied himself up a bit now. Epton in all in white from the Mexborough Club in Yorkshire. Just a few miles outside of Doncaster. Robbie Regan, Welsh champion for the second time, making his second appearance in these semi-finals. Last year, at this same stage, he was outpointed by Mick Cantwell of London. Epton still keeping up, a pretty fast pace. And although Regan is trying to sling the big counters in from both flanks, he's only having occasional success with them. Whereas Epton is picking up a lot of points. Two cautions to Epton for the head. Epton won a silver medal in the Commonwealth Games. Lost on points in the final to the Canadian, Scott Olsen. And that's the only contest he's lost since November 1984. The closing stages now of this light flyweight semi-final. The lightest weight of all. Approximately seven and a half stone these boys weigh. To his credit, still plugging away with the hooks, still getting him in. champion, only 18, forced Epton to go all out, all the way. And ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the second semi-final at Light Fly, by a unanimous decision, Epton in the red corner. And all three judges voted for the defending champion, Mark Epton. He'll be at Wembley for the third year running and attempting to win his third title, and the man he'll face at Wembley is the Scottish champion Wilson Doherty, who earlier tonight beat Mick Cantwell of London.